Welcome back to Mason Talk. So today, we are going to be talking about the Cleveland Browns. Today was the Browns' first regular season game of the year, and they lost to the Philadelphia Eagles 29-10. Now, this game, as expected, was ugly for the Browns on both sides of the ball. Offensively, they could never get anything going. They had a couple of good drives, but really nothing that great. RG3 had a couple of deep passes to Terrell Pryor and Corey Coleman, but but I'm pretty sure neither of those resulted in touchdowns. That's one of the Browns' biggest problems. For some reason, the minute we pass the 25-yard line, we cannot score touchdowns. The minute we pass the 25-yard line, our quarterbacks are like, you know what, I'm just going to suck the rest of this drive. That is definitely something the Browns need to improve on, red zone scoring. Another thing that the Browns need to improve on is catching footballs. Gary Barnage, Pro Bowl tight end, he was dropping the ball. Corey Coleman, our first round pick, he can't catch the football. Honestly, I don't think Corey Coleman's ready to be on the football field. Since his first preseason game, he's caught like two passes. So yeah, Corey Coleman and basically the entire receiving core needs to improve. Another thing that I didn't really like was our play calling. I think Hugh Jackson made some dumb calls on offense today. Hugh, I don't want the Browns running all these weird formations or whatever. I just want the Browns to run like a normal offense. The Browns ran a couple of trick plays today. And I don't think that they should run those trick plays again. I'm sure Hugh Jackson is smarter than me when it comes to football, but you do not have to be a football genius to know that we should never be lining Joe Thomas up at wide receiver. We literally had a play where there were two offensive linemen in front of RG3 and Joe Thomas was playing wide receiver. What the heck was that? In Hugh's defense, that play would have worked if Corey Coleman had not dropped the football. <laughs> Even though that play almost worked, I don't think we should ever do it again. I think we should keep Joe Thomas in front of our quarterback. One of the other notable trick plays was the fake punt where our punter was nowhere to be found. When I saw that it was fourth down and five and Britton Cole quit our punter was nowhere to be found, Duke Johnson was the only player in the backfield, I was very concerned. <laughs> and as you probably know, that trick punt did not work. I think Duke Johnson lost yards on the play. So yeah, we should probably not do that play ever again. So yeah, basically just our offense was a mess. Uh, RG3 had an okay game. He got hurt right at the end of the game. I think he like sprained his left elbow, so hopefully that's not too serious. Defensively, it was a bad game. Uh, for some reason, none of our defensive backs know how to cover a wide receiver. Carson Wentz literally had a wide receiver open for like the majority of the game. Literally nobody on the Browns could cover a receiver. Jordan Matthews tore our defense apart. Our defensive backs would let the receivers get wide open, and then after they made the catch, nobody on our defense could tackle. Our defense looks bad, but there were some bright spots. Emmanuel Agba had some good plays, and Carl Nassib looked like a really good defensive end. Carl Nassib was pressuring Carson Wentz, he made a couple of tackles, he knocked the football down a couple of times, he just looked like a good defensive end. So yeah, that was one of the few bright spots of the Browns game. Carl Nassib looked pretty good. But yeah, so overall it was just an ugly game for the Browns. If you think about it, the Browns were in the game until halfway through the third quarter. The Browns looked like they had a shot to win that game until halfway through the third quarter, Cameron Irving snapped the ball way over RG3's head and it turned into a safety. And then after that, for some reason, our players gave up and we lost 29-10 to 10 to the Eagles. But yeah, so it was an ugly game. Carl Nassib looked good. You know, Terrell Pryor made some plays, but really nothing that great. Hopefully, we'll see some improvements next week versus Baltimore. Thanks for watching Mason Talks. Make sure you subscribe to Mason Talks for more NFL, NBA, World Champion, Cleveland Cavaliers, and also Cleveland Browns videos. Make sure you leave a like on this video, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. Bye.